Okay, Kipsters, uh, this video is on multiplying decimals. I'm starting with the same screen as always because it's super important. You need to know all this stuff about decimals, their place names, how much that's worth as a, as a fraction and as a decimal, and what that looks like on a 100 grid. Okay? Uh, now, with multiplying decimals, let's take these two decimals, 2.7 times 0 0.21. It's super important to remember the chant we learned before where we talked about with fractions, when you multiply, the rules switch up, now don't you cry. And there's no need to speak the same language, ain't that sweet? What? There is no need to make these decimals speak the same language. You could, it's just going to make more work for yourselves. So, we're going to talk about two ways to solve this, this, this problem. First way is to actually do something you already know. We're going to use fractions. So we're going to convert both of these decimals into fractions. 2.7, the way you say that is 2 and 7. What place name is that? Tenthus is right. That's why we're writing it like that. Bring down the multiplication symbol. Uh, go ahead and call out how you would say this decimal. Go ahead, call it out. That's right, 21 hundredths. Next step here, we have a mixed in the problem. We better crank it, son. 10 times 2 makes 20. 20 plus 7 makes and then dumb denominators copy, that's 27 over 10. Bring down 21 over 100, we're multiplying that. Now we can shoot, shoot. The denominator is pretty simple to do, but we have to do 27 times 21 on the side. So let's do the math quickly, do it with me all. 1 times 7 is, 1 times 2 is, cross out that 1, bring down the smiley face. Now we're doing 2 times 7 is, keep the 4, bump the 2 times 2 is, plus 1. Nice job. Add it all up. 567. That, if you bring back over here, becomes our new numerator. Okay? 10 times 100. You can do a scratch and mash. That'll get you 1,000. And check out what we just did. That 1,000 does is a decimal language. So it's very, very simple for us to take 567 thousand does and make it into a decimal. I just did it. 567 thousandths. So 2.7 times 0 0.21, 0 0.567. Okay? Now there's another way to do it as well. Uh, we call it the slide, slide, slippy slide method. Everyone take a look up here. Uh, I'm just going to take the numbers I had initially, put in my decimal points right here. Now, one smart cut is you count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point and put it in parentheses. There's one digit. I put one there. How many digits are to the right of the decimal point in this decimal? Go ahead, call it out. Two is right, so I put two there. Then I find the sum of one and two, which is three is right. And that will tell you how many places you need or how many jumps you need uh, to move your decimal point to the left. So three times we're going to move it. So we go slide, slide, slippery slide. It's time for the decimal to take a ride. We go one, two, three. The decimal points now here. Our answer is the same exact thing as when we did it with fractions. Okay? I know you all comfortable with fractions, so we're actually going to practice doing this a slide, slide, slippery slide way. So peep this problem here. 0 0.08 times 0 0.03. First step, we want to make it look like a traditional multiplication problem. Uh, so one little quick tip, I like to put the number with the most digits on the, top, on the top, which is why mine is going to look like that. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. Call out what you go in parentheses here. Go ahead, call it out. Two is right. How about over here? Two is right because it's zero and eight. The zero counts. I know some of y'all think zero isn't a number. It most certainly is. So, next thing we do. Uh, you can add it up down there, but you also need to do the multiplication as well. 3 times 8 is, is 24. Now we know we're going four steps to the left. But watch this now. We go slide, slide, slippery slide. It's time for the decimal to take a ride. We go one, two. But when I do my third, I need to make sure to fill it with a zero. Four, there you go. Decimal point moves over there. 
So your answer, 0 0.8 times 0 0.03 is 24 ten thousandths. Okay, super small number. Uh, and that is our answer. Okay? This one's on your own. You know the deal by now. Press pause on the tape. Do the right thing and press pause. Solve it on your own. Press pause now, please. Okay, if you're back, you should have solved this problem. The first thing I would do, I told you the quick tip. Put the number with the most digits on the top. So I hope yours looks like that. Next thing I like to do, count the number of decimal, uh, t count the number of places, digits to the right of the decimal point. I got my two right there. What'd y'all put for this one? Go ahead, call it out. Zero's right. The decimal point's right here. There's nothing to the right of it. Okay? Now we can do our multiplication. Uh, you can put the sum down here first if you want. Nine times six is 54. Keep the four, bump the five. Six times zero. Go ahead, call it out. Zero plus five. There you go, six times one. Slide, slide, slippery slide. It's time for the decimal to take a ride. We go one, two. Move that decimal. There you go. The answer should have been six and 5,400 this. If you're feeling good about yourself, get ready for the on your own. If not, go ahead and watch this again. There's your on your own. Put the multiplication signs in here. Uh, remember, press pause now so you can copy down all these questions correctly. Make sure to show all of your work. I would like for you to do these using the slide, slide, slippery slide method, okay? Thanks as always for watching. Press pause now so you can copy these down. Peace out, Kipsters.